Hey guys, Lost Wolf here, and welcome to my playthrough of Star Wars Uprising. Alright, I guess I am going to show off all my gear now, since today is November 14th. And yeah, the game's going to be closing in three days, so I want to document everything before the game shuts down and, you know, all my hard work and progress is totally gone. Alright, so the first thing I'm probably going to do is show off my gears and uh, everything that's in my inventory and then we'll move on to the armory and stuff. As well as abilities, components, uh, things maybe if I want to share. Alright, so first of all, I need to get rid of all the extra armors that I have. So I'm going to click on sell. I'm going to check the duplicate and I'm going to select all. Look at that. If, I'm to, if I am to sell all my extra equipments, I would make... How much is this? 3.7 million credits. So let's do that. Since I don't think I'll be needing any more duplicates. There you go. Alright, I guess I'll start from, you know, the top and then make my way down the long list. I don't think I'll read them all, but I'll show them briefly so you guys can see what they are. And if any of you guys want to know specifically what they do, you guys can... Pause it and check it for yourself. But first, I'm probably going to unequip my gears. There you go. I'll use the custom appearance so I can still look cool. So when I show it to you guys, you guys can see you know, how many PR ratings you guys get. How much of the, the attack, defense rating that you get without anything on when you just equip it. So yeah, just uh, pause while I just slowly go through these. Man, I feel like it's going to take a while, but... You know, at least you guys will be able to see all the stats and stuff. Well, I guess while I go through this, I guess I'll talk about my experience about this game. I really love this game. I played it a lot, you know? And I'm pretty bummed out that it's, it's going away. But, you know, I'm just grateful for all of the memories that the game has given me. Um... Kabam, I think they, they there's pros and cons to what they did. You know, they tried their best to appease the fans. But it's just, uh, this game is not too casual. It's a bit more difficult, and I know that people that play on their phones, they usually like to play casual games. And this is one of the more uh, technical game there is, and it's, it's really fun. I really enjoy this even if it's on the phone i'm not a big fan of phone games when i like to play these kind of games i like to sit down and play them but i'm glad that they gave us the choice to actually um play this on the go you know i don't have like a very powerful phone or anything so i don't think i'll be able to um play this phone play this as often outside i usually play it on my iP ipad or a samsung tablet while you know, at home with the Wi-Fi and stuff. And mine's not even like a high generation iPad or Samsung tablet. So it, it, it's hard for me to compete. Because this game, it has like competition as well. And it's difficult to um, rank up and stuff. Oh man, it's, gonna, it's taking so long to get through all of these. But, you know, I'll try my best. I'll get through it. Just in case you guys want to see anything else. Yeah, the noble gears. Oh, man. Elemental packs and stuff. Okay, these are like some of the stuff I had before. It's just that I got a duplicate of the lower version. But good thing I felt like I, didn't, I enjoyed this game even though I didn't like put as much money into it. I mean, I did put some money, but it's usually for the smuggling bonus thing. I don't think I ever bought any Chromium. To me, they're just not worth it. Uh, because I guess they're worth it for people that actually have a job and want to drop money on this game. But since I don't and I have a little bit more spare time, I like to grind my way there. But I've been uh, pretty busy now. So I don't know if I can even put as much time if this game was still ongoing, but I played a lot. I really enjoyed this game. I think I said that already. <laughs> I don't know what else to say while I'm slowly going through all these. Alright, well... Hmm. 
What else? What else is there to say? You know. I like the story. The story was pretty good. I know a lot of people don't play this game for the story. They just play it for the competitive high ranking and bragging rights. And it's a good social game because I met a lot of people in the game. Um, usually join a cartel and talk to them through line and stuff. It's pretty crazy, but you know, it's been a long, a long ride. We went through so much in this game already. I think I'm gonna go a little bit faster now, just in case. There's a couple bugs and glitches here and there still, like the, the back don't even have an icon, so it's kind of weird. Okay, maybe I'm just gonna go a bit faster because I have like so much pages to go through. Maybe because I like to uh, stock up on a lot of things. I'm basically a pack rat, you know. But me and this game, we had some good times. But on the bright side, um, the movie Rogue One is coming out soon, so I can't wait to actually watch the movie, and probably they'll probably make some sort of game for it as well. You know, I could do it almost every Star Wars game. I think when the Force Awakens comes out, there was the, oops, there was the what you call it, the Lego, the Lego Force Awakening game. It was out as well. And I just also want to thank you guys for uh, watching me and sticking with me because I know the majority of you guys are Star Wars Uprising fans and like to see what's up. And I really appreciate that you guys coming to check out, you know, my whole life through Star Wars Uprising. It's, it's been quite a journey. But, you know, all good things must come to an end. One thing about myself is that I gotta learn to go through change. Change can be good and bad, but change will always be different and we have to accept change. I'm the type of person that's not used to change. I'm used to like a set of routines, so when there's change, I'm like, I'm like, you know, just it's hard to break through the rhythm. But, you know, someone told me that, you know, expect change. Um, no matter what, things will change. If, not, if you're not changing, I guess you're kind of not growing, so... I think I grew with this game, you know. It got better. You know, the Kabam listened here and there, and... I quite enjoyed what they... They put out. They put some effort, you know. Sometimes the players demand too much, and it's pretty stressful for the dev to try to catch up. So I guess that's why most of the time they're radio silent because they don't know what to do sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna go through this a little bit more faster. Hmm. All these low gears, I don't know why I even keep them. Maybe it's for times like this. I'm going to try to show as much as I can because I know that <laughs> I want to try to put everything in this video. I was debating whether how to format this video, but I'm just like, I'm just like, screw it. There's only a couple more days until the game close. Um, you know, once the game closes, I can't do anything else about it. So I'm glad that people watch me it, make, it makes me happy that I'm you know doing a public service for everyone because I usually make videos like these for the love of Star Wars because I love Star Wars a lot you know I'm one of the, I'm one of those sci-fi fans that imagine myself in space you know being a force wielding bounty hunter traveling across the galaxy doing contract jobs and all that and while experiencing all these awesome stuff Maybe that's one of the reasons why I love Knights of the Old Republic. Cause it's kinda, it kind of has that feel, you know. It has a, like a central story, but at the same time, you're going from planet to planet. Getting jobs from people and doing them. Which is, which is, which is pretty cool, you know. Yeah, but I'll probably do this for the character as well. Because I think character is more in, important. 
you know, documenting these armors are, is as important as well. Because, you know, once... Once Kablam shuts down this game, it's basically gone forever. And the only ones that are, are here to catalog it is basically us players. And I know there was a lot of people that already catalog most of these things. And I'm probably going to be doing a sloppy job, but, you know, I try my best to put my input. But I don't think, I don't think my love for Star Wars will ever, ever go away because I just love Star Wars that much, you know. I grew up with it, you know, I grew up with the old movies. I grew up with the new movies and now they're still making Star Wars movies. So I'm, I'm like very happy that, that they're doing that. So in a way, I'm glad that Disney kind of took over Star Wars because Lucas Art, it doesn't seem like they're doing too much with it. Lucas himself doesn't do much with it. He usually just lets other people, you know, branches off his creativity. But I, li I, li I like the, the way that Disney is going, even though Disney like overprices everything. And I think that's okay. You know? But, you know, I think Disney has like a lot of money. They make so much money and they're using that money to produce high quality films and games. And a lot of people think they will, you know, turn Star Wars into like a super kid friendly thing. But the way they made new shows like Star Wars Rebels, I think they're doing a great job because it's, 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 it's for kids too, you know, but at the same time, it's also for adults, you know, the plot is there for adults to understand, especially the Star Wars fans. So both, you know, both generations can really enjoy these kind of things. But, oh man, the Wookiee Bowcaster, I remember when I got that. When you first start the game, you get like a extra bonus if you pay five dollars with a special crew member and all that i remember i chipped in some money because i really enjoyed this game i want to support kablam for the entertainment they gave us you know i had really high expectation because i want more out of this game and you know what i got was what i got i like the raid missions i like the story it was like such a big plot twist and i felt like this game helped me on my commentary while I was making the videos for this game because I remember when I made videos for this game my commentary was so terrible I didn't even know what to say I'm pretty sure I'm still terrible now because I don't know what I'm saying so I'm just basically winging it but I love doing the voice acting for the characters when if you guys are were watching my playthrough throughout the whole entire thing I know that Star Wars Uprising has a small dedicated community that still plays it but you know everybody's gone their separate ways but at one point this game brought us together and nothing will ever ever change that but yeah oh it looks like I'm basically done wow and what do you know, I still have my old trusty thing I didn't sell. Because I remember back in the days, the inventory was so limited and there wasn't any stacking, but they did. Scoundrel Top. I'm so glad I have that. And I guess about, that's about it. Alright, so that's it for... Um, inventory. Let's move on to... Maybe Abilities. Oh man. Alright, well I'm I think I'm just gonna slowly scroll down. I'm not gonna like Oh there's a little lag there. Okay, I'll just scroll slowly scroll down so you guys can pause it if you guys want to look at any of these abilities. Most of them are probably gonna be repetitive. Just because there's different ranks. I think I got all of them or as much as I can. Not all of the rank 3s, but I know I have all of the rank 1 and 2s. Probably not for force powers, but... 
you know, I've done what I can. Too bad I couldn't make, like, showcase videos of these abilities. I was thinking about it, but, you know, I felt like that would be a bit more time consuming. And I was waiting until I get rank 3 so I can show everything all at once. But it's alright. You know, I don't think I need to anymore since um, this game is being discontinued. But just for catalog's sake, I think I'm alright. I felt like I put a lot of content already for Star Wars Uprising. Yeah, I have a lot. I didn't realize I have so many. Alright, just keep going up. Uh, keep going. Keep going. Uh. But yeah, even if I can't showcase you these abilities, I hope you guys enjoyed my other video as well. I think I'm almost done. I want to rank one side. Okay. Let's showing everything I got. There you go. Well, it's been a wild ride, you know. probably a lot to uh, take in. I think that's it. I don't think I can go down anymore. Alright. So that's all my ability, guys. Uh, next up, let's check. Maybe I should have showed my... Ah, this is the armory for gears. Alright. I'll show that last. Let's check out components. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell all the... Duplicates? Actually, I don't think there are any, any duplicates. Huh. Whatever. Alright. I'll just show you guys these. And show you these things as well. So you guys can take a look at these. I have a lot. So. I hope it's not too much. <laughs> wow, these crystals are... Really, they look really nice, so that's when you know they did a good job. It's it's so detailed. Look at it. You can see like the scratches on these things. It just makes me sad that you know this game and all the effort that Kablam did didn't attract enough players for them to make a profit. Because the game was free, it's not like you have to pay or anything to play it. And I guess they tried their best. Oh man, I really have to go through this. Yeah, that's alright. Don't worry about it. I'll suck through it. Because... No one will else will ever have this kind of video again. This game will be known as one of the... One of the legacy games in the past. And then when people, you know, new people that love Star Wars and new fans that love Star Wars, they will wonder what this game is and, you know, look it up and everything and see my videos and they'll be like, ah, this guy made a lot of Star Wars video. I can just watch him and see what it feels like if they enjoy the story. Because I know this game is not for everybody. I have a lot of fragment though, I can tell you that much. Hmm. I guess it's not, it's not that much. I think the other one was a lot more. We got more crystals here as well. 
Yeah, I guess this is my way of cataloging things. I think it's a lot easier for me to make videos to catalog these things. Crystal clusters. Brilliant epic raid crystal cluster. It's a shame I'll never get be able to use these. Oh well. The raids were fun. I enjoyed it. Life was good. There's nothing more I can ask for. Maybe after I catalog all this, I should sell my stuff? Nah. Who knows? Maybe they'll save all our login info and then when they make a new Star Wars Uprising, maybe like Star Wars Uprising 2, I'll have some of my old stuff. You never know. Fragments. I didn't realize how much I have of these. Wow, I got 113 heroic raid crystals. That's a lot. Oh, I'm halfway yet. All right, we got more. Whew, this might be my longest Star Wars Uprising video. I guess I gotta do whatever it takes, right? I guess we're down to the four stars now. All right. Three stars.
That looks like we're nearing the end of tier two. Shoot. Sorry, give me a minute. There are some uh, distractions. Now here are the Trooper Cadet Fragments. When the game first came out, I wanted to... I wanted to collect all the Imperial Stormtrooper stuff, but they were quite difficult to get. And then I got it. Alright, looks like we're at the Tier 1 stuff now. We're almost done. Go. Some pure crystals. Yeah, these things bring back memories. What does this button over here do anyways? Ah, it does that. Okay. Just wondering. Alright, and we got one more... Like a third page left. Oh, let me click on them. There you go. Because those are so shiny. Crystals. Chip trade crystals. And chips utility crystals. Alright. I think that's it for components and next uh armory? Oh, this is the only thing you can buy. Hmm. I guess, yeah, I guess I'll do armory next. Hmm. Alright. So let's start from the very first one, I guess. Oh man, it's gonna be a lot. Alright, so yeah, here's a damage hut guard. Here's a hut guard armor. Let's go next. Damage scavengers. Scavengers. It used to be my favorite armor because it looked like a bounty hunter of some sort. Damage Street Punk, Street Punk, Damage Survivalist, Survivalist, Weather Bodyguard, Patch Bodyguard, Refined Bodyguard, Weathered Enforcer, and, and I don't have the blueprints for the rest, Weathered Rebel Gorilla, Patch Rebel Gorilla, Refined Rebel Gorilla, uh, Weathered Smuggler, Patch Smuggler, Refined Smuggler Stock Bodyguard Altered Bodyguard And Revised Bodyguard Stock Enforcer Altered Enforcer Revised Enforcer Stock Rebel Gorilla Altered Rebel Gorilla Alright, 
Uh, I don't have that other one. Stock smuggler. Don't have anyone. Standard bodyguard. Standard enforcer. Refitted enforcer. Standard rebel gorilla. Refitted rebel gorilla. I don't have the perfect rebel gorilla. Standard smuggler. Refitted smuggler. Don't have any bodyguard or any enforcer. Uh, I got the specialized rebel gorilla. Yeah. I have a specialized smuggler. Yeah. I got a trooper cadet. I never finished the stormtrooper or a specialized trooper. Damage Cloud City security. Cloud City security. No damage hut guard for tier 2. I have damage scavenger for tier 2. Looks the same, pretty much. Don't have any survivalists. Elemental weathered bounty hunter set. It's like a poor man's bounty hunter. Don't have any elemental weathered commandos. Elemental weathered diplomat. I got one. Elemental weathered saboteur. And weathered bounty hunter. Patch bounty hunter. And refined bounty hunter. I used to use this a lot because it was like my best one. I don't have any weathered commandos. Weathered diplomat. I don't have any weathered noble set. I have one weathered saboteur. Elemental stock bounty hunter, elemental altered bounty hunter, and elemental revised bounty hunter. I usually I usually use this armor a lot because it looks look the nicest. Elemental stock commando, elemental altered commando, and elemental revised commando. Yeah. Elemental stock diplomat, elemental altered diplomat, elemental revised diplomat. Yeah. I have Elemental Stock Saboteur, Elemental Alter Saboteur, and Elemental Revise Saboteur. Stock Bounty Hunter, but I don't have any of the other ones. Stock Commando, Stock Diplomat. You'll probably be seeing duplicates. I have a Stock Noble, Alt Revise, I don't have a full set for any of them. Stock Saboteur, because it's Elemental and there's a Stock as well. Elemental. Standard Bounty Hunter, Elemental Refitted Bounty Hunter, Elemental Perfect Bounty Hunter. I don't like this one because it looks too clean, I guess. I don't have any set for Elemental Standard Commando. Elemental Standard Diplomat, Elemental Refitted Diplomat. Elemental Standard Saboteur. And let's see, Standard Bounty Hunter, Standard Commando, I don't have any of that, Standard Diplomat, not a full set, Standard Noble, nope, Standard Saboteur, nope, Bounty Hunter, nope, Commando, nope, Diplomat, nope. Alright, I got Elemental Bounty Hunter set. These are my favorite ones because the color is just so awesome. Here's the improved one. This is the one I'm currently using right now, Elemental Specialized Bounty Hunter. That looks really nice. I love that one. Elemental Commando, Elemental Improved Commando, Elemental Specialized Commando. I don't have any Elemental Diplomat. Elemental Officer! I only have the that one. No Elemental Saboteur. I have it, but I haven't upgraded to Max. And I don't have any Officer sets or Noble sets. Or do I? Alright, here's the Purge Armor. I finished this purge armor here's a purge trooper lieutenant and i never finished the purge trooper commando saboteur improved saboteur specialized saboteur here's a pilot cadet i forgot how i got that oh yeah i just upgraded the set that's all at at pilot cadet don't have that defiant bodyguard uprising bodyguard set i don't have that uprising forces set i don't have that uprising rebel <coughs> excuse me Oh, let's see, Uprising Rebel Gorilla set. Uprising Smuggler set. I wonder what that looks like. Huh. Contract Assassin set. I want this. Looks cool. Covert Operative set. Don't have that. Gadget. What? Gadget tier set? Too bad. I never saw that. Governor's Guard set. Terrace Kasi set. Rancor Slayer set. I don't have
have that. Scout Trooper set. This is what you get for logging in um, last year for the Force Awakening special. Everybody gets it, so I'm happy I got it. Oh, that's what it does. Uh, these are all cosmetic. There's no stats bonus to them. I got the Skiff Guard. Got the Snow Trooper. I got the Ubes Survival. I need one more, but I never got it. So I'm sad. The Ultimate Adventure. I never got that. Ultimate Gambler. That's what you get for helping uh, Lon Lando Carissian. An Ultimate Smuggler set. I never got that as well. Rebel Pilot. Never got that. And that's it. That's the whole armor, guys. All right. So, oh man. Let's move on to the crew members. I think that may be one of the last things, and I'll just probably look at everything else and see what else is there. All right, I guess I got some friends list. I guess I'll add you guys since I'll miss you guys as well. All right, let's do the crew. But what I'm gonna do is recruit duplicates. I don't need them, so retire. I have like 13 pages full of them. Oh man, that's a lot. Select all the comments I'll be making. Oh my god. 1.7 billion credits. Wow. I'm gonna be rich. Alright. Right now I have like only almost 10 mil, but if I retire all these guys, cha ching, I am rich. Look at that. The number goes off so far, it goes off that screen. Alright. Well, in any case, I guess I'll do that for each of them. Show you guys 18 pages of crew members. Because I don't know how else to show you guys. I guess this is the only way I can show you guys. <laughs> so if you guys want to see more detail, just pause the video. Oh, look, I can upgrade this guy as well. It's alright. I mean, this guy's been with me for a long time. I'm gonna miss him. Oh. Alright. Nico Stalker. I showcased some of these guys before because they were like a monthly special. I should try spinning them around too. So you guys can see everything around them. Some of them are bigger than others. Uh, am I showing duplicates? I think I am. Sorry about that. Whew. a lot of work just let you guys know but I'm determined I'm determined to catalog catalog all these guys uh, security specialist can read that X stormtrooper Merc you guys can read that too dispose sheriff you guys can read that. Techno Shaman. Extreme Environment Operative. Learn C Droid. Rodian Senate Aid. Black Lip Pirate. Blue Ghost. And a Cyber Baron. Mron Kel Bela Twash Sir Bankosh Captain Pliff Undercover Officer Chigo Easy Zonquan Emoji Overdrive Conero 
three NX series protection droid. Chakram warrior. Handler. M two D eight. The mysterious advisor. RN eighteen. Ilayano. Got us. Uh, Arno Zen. Colonel Strukla. Commander Marcos. Wude Wuda. Beyond Brian, how do you ever say his name? Specialist Zalila, Corporate Bodyguard, Ambitious Young Officer, Fitbit Fit, Protector. Okay, just give me a minute. I'll be spinning these things while making a video.
All right, guys. I think that's about it. I showcased everything I have, all the armory, the crew members, everything. And I know it's, it took quite a while, but hey, I finished it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And anybody that else that are watching this video and want to catalog their stuff, I mean, go for it. That's the reason why I put this video up there is for you guys to catalog and make sure that everything's A-OK. -okay. So yeah, I guess that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. And if you guys have any questions or comment, leave it in the comment section below. Other than that, I just want to say thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you guys on the next epic Lost Wolf production. I'm Lost Wolf, and I'm signing off.